Pete's Pigskin Preview spotlighting 80 area high schools from 6-man to 6-A as we get ready for the high school football season. Pete's Pigskin Previews are brought to you by Wayland Baptist University and Raider Pump and Supply. Why don't you talk about taking over out here and it's not like you just came on. You got to be underneath Coach Spiller and move right into it, which is probably a, a great way to become the head coach. It really was. It gave me a year to get to learn under him and continue developing as a coach. And then um, taking over, you kind of have a sense of how things are and got to see the way things have been run, which was really great up to this point, and then be able to add your own little things in there. But um, it was a really good situation and opportunity, and I was very thankful for it. What are the Trinity Christian Lions going to look like this year under, under your leadership? Uh, hopefully we're putting quality football out on Friday nights. Um, I think we've got uh, the guys who can do that. Um, you know, we're with graduating Marcus Ramon Edwards is a you know tough to replace a guy like that. So we'll definitely be doing that with a, kind of a by committee type deal. But um, we, we've got some speed um, on the perimeter and in the backfield, and we're looking for the best ways we can use that offensively. How many offensive and defensive starters are back? Uh, we have four offensive starters back, and then I think we would have um, six defensive starters back. Okay, uh, talk about your non-district schedule. <laughs> Well, we open up with Albany on August 25th. We're really excited about that game. They were um, Division II 2A state champions. Um, really incredible uh, quality program, and there will definitely be a big time test for us. Um, we then move into Clarendon, who had a, a great year last year and made the playoffs. And, um, you know, they they're, uh, played a lot of young guys last year, so we definitely look for that to be a challenge. We're off week three. Um, then we've got New Deal week four, who is always good, played a lot of young guys, including a freshman quarterback last year. So we're excited about that game, and then we have McKinney Christian week five to round out um, our non-district schedule and then move into district play. And then talk about district. I mean, unlike the UIL schools, you got to travel to some of these places. Right. We're excited to play football, so however far we need to drive to do that, we will. Um, but, you know, we're, um, we, we've got a good balance of uh, on the road and, and home games, so um, we're just, you know, whether we're playing at home or we're traveling, we're happy. And uh, what are the goals this year for the Lions? Um, I think we just need to progress every week. I've told our guys it doesn't matter if we we end district and non-district play five and zero, but we didn't progress like we need to each week. I, we could be zero and five and got better each week. It really doesn't matter. By the time we hit district, we need to be a much better football program than we are today in game one and game three and so on. And then, coach, just talk about Trinity Christian and all these great facilities out here that some people probably don't even know are 141st and Quaker. Right. Yeah. With some of our facilities being off campus, you know that you know some may not know it's out here, but it's an incredible facility. We're very thankful for it. Um, it's a short drive over from the high school, so um, you know it's just something that it's really nice to get to be in such a quality facility every single day.